very much like the idea that it's a Sunday morning and church is in session at the Holy Rosary in Bangkok. Uh, I'm happy because it's a piece of history. This is the first church in Bangkok. It was founded in 1787. I, I really like the fact that it's still active uh, so many years later. So in 1787, uh, this church was built on land that was uh, gifted by King Rama I. So this was around the time when uh, the Ayutthaya had fallen and uh, the kingdom had relocated, shifted, uh, moved down to Bangkok. So it was around this time and, and we're just south of the Grand Palace and just across the stream is Icon Icon Siam, so it's right on the river. It's a really, really good location. So the building behind me is actually the third incarnation of this building. The first one was made of wood and, and with a masonry base, and it fell into fell into disrepair. Uh, and that in the in in 1838, the uh, a new church building was constructed. And then the third building, which is the one behind me now. Uh, was completed and constructed in 1897. It's considered to have the most beautiful stained glass windows in all of Thailand. Uh, I'm not going to go in there just at the moment because the church is in session. The original name for this church was Kalawario, which was a transliteration of the word Calvary, and Calvary was where Jesus was crucified. Uh, and so the name has evolved over the years. Uh, to the locals also know this as Kalawa and in fact if you're walking around the streets here you'll see signs that, that say Kalawa uh, pointing you the direction of this way. As you can see the church, the building style of this church is a gothic style construction and just at the top of the archways there you can see the Virgin Mary. Now inside this church it's got some beautiful stained glass windows considered to be the best the most magnificent, most ma most beautiful in all of Thailand. Now the location of the Holy Rosary Church is we're right on the Chow Praya River, which is just over here behind me. And also you can just see, just see, get a glimpse over there of Icon, Icon Siam. So a very good location here. So the location here of Kalawa Church, the whole church of the Holy Rosary, is also a school. And uh, I like what they've done with the name Kalawa here. They've used it to create an acronym. Knowledge, unity, love, ability, responsibility, and then to put a B on the end, best person. So this is Kalab. Okay. Or maybe there's more windows that I haven't noticed. Uh, now it makes sense. This school is actually called Kalabwiteya School. Kalabwiteya School. So the acronym over there makes sense now. So in 1787, this land here was gifted to the Portuguese community uh, to, to build this church here. And this was gifted by King Rama I. So this was at the time when uh, the capital had shifted after the fall of Ayutthaya had shifted to, to, shifted to Bangkok. I do like uh, religious artifacts. I don't know how the uh, flamingo made it to this scene though. I don't remember that, learning that when I was at sun in Sunday school. So the uh, Holy Rosary, the Holy Rosary refers to the uh, the crown, the, the crown of roses that uh, Mary, Virgin Mary has. And it's believed that uh, when anyone says praise a Hail Mary, that we are gifting the Virgin Mary with another crown of roses. The rose is considered to be the queen of all flowers, therefore uh, the most revered and holy. So the original, uh, church here, cathedral, was the uh, owned, operated, for want of a better word, by the Portuguese. It was gifted to the Portuguese. However, uh, a few decades later, it was actually taken over by the French, the French missionaries. Now, the French uh, in 1822 actually 
also expanded and built another cathedral nearby, just south of here, which is called Assumption, Assumption Cathedral. And we're going to go and have a look at that now. So this was also because of the, uh, the growth of uh, Christianity in the area and also the uh, number of missionaries that were also in Thailand then around this period. Really like that logo. Now just outside the gates of the Holy Rosary, a really cool uh, little mini kind of roundabout and a really cool uh, sculpture made of spoons. Oh, I really like it. Spoons and machine parts. Now, uh, there's no uh, plaque here to explain this art piece, but I'm taking a guess what it means to me. Uh, the spoons represent all the food that's around available in the area, and the machine parts at the base. There's also this area here in the Bun Rock area. Uh, there's a lot of um, engine parts, machine parts are also for sale, uh, and for repair shops as well for machines. That's my interpretation. I do appreciate a sculpture. Uh, this sculpture here is in the middle of the smallest roundabout I've ever seen. This roundabout is called Talad Noi. Noi in Thai means small. At the Talad Noi, uh, roundabout. There's a couple of hostels as well. I, re I, would, I reckon this would be a really cool place to stay if you're traveling to Bangkok. Um, now I also like the, the idea here and you see this quite a lot around this Ban Rak area which is some of the old buildings uh, they've got these modern takes on the old buildings. So some of these hostels and also this uh, bar and restaurant here you can see it's decked out with this modern kind of a, a restaurant and cafe set in this really cool old building. So I like how they're not this area here, it's not smashing old buildings and putting new ones up, but it's actually using the existing architecture and kind of celebrating that existing architecture. Now, whenever you're walking around this area, you'll see lots of evidence of Chinese, the Chinese influence, um, which is being preserved as well. So it's a really cool area to wander around. You'll see, uh, see lots of interesting things. It's a great, great place to get lost at. So here we are, We're, this is, this is uh, at Talad Noi. This sign says it's this way to Chinatown. So we're going to do uh, explore Chinatown in much in Chinatown in much more detail in a video in the future. But today's video, we're focusing on colonial, the colonial period of Bangkok. So in future videos, I'm going to explore art as well. So I'm going to explore Chinatown, but I'm also going to explore art and design in this Ban Rak area. into art and design this is really this is uh, the Talat Noi and Ban Rak area is the place for you sounds so many cool uh, street art but also some of the old school style logos and signage around the place has really uh, captured my imagination Here's another cool example of some uh, design here. Asawin photo and video. So many of these, keep, keep, when you're wandering around this area, keep your eyes open. There's so many really cool signs uh, around the place. Just being 
used to be on the Rosary Church. Now I'm stopping at House of Commons for a cup of coffee and a drink of water. outside the House of Commons, which is a really cool little uh, cafe and bookstore. And the creek's here and there's two massive monitor lizards here. 